This is it, huh? That's it. Do you want to put this in me? It's better than what you've got. Maureen! John! <laughs> right on time, too. You can say hello, Junior. Hi, Mo. How are you? What's up? Jeff, I met this girl, and I'm telling you, I'm crazy about her. Yeah, well, I hope she's understanding. You're not going to be seeing her for a while. Welcome to the team. No kidding. I am talking about taking your own heart out and replacing it with something completely mechanical. In my mind, being battery operated is better than being dead. Dad, I can't take any more of Aunt Mo. I can't. I talked to her. I told her I'd try to get some more time. Yeah, Dick? The lady has multiple sclerosis. She doesn't have MS. And I'll prove it. You have major league surgery coming up, remember? I can do both. No, you can't. Don't sweat it. I'll, I'll get somebody else. You're late. Tell me about it. Have you seen the parking lot? Press, cameramen, photographers? Yeah, me in a three-year-old suit. Have you guys seen my aunt? Mm-mm. Good. I mean, it's not that I don't love her, it's just she's wearing me out. So far, I've been dragged from Macy's to Alcatraz. Oh, no. Good day, all. You know, it's not healthy to stay inside on a beautiful day like today. Has anyone seen Dr. McIntyre? Uh... Uh, the conference room down the hall. You must be JT's Aunt Mo. We have heard so much about you. Mm -hmm. No doubt, but I don't have time to talk. I have a meeting with my brother. Point me. Conference room down the hall to the left. Got it. And tell JT to get off his knees. They'll walk down there. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our chief surgeon, Dr. John McIntyre. John? Dr. McIntyre. Dr. McIntyre. Dr. McIntyre. You remain unavailable to the press until now. Uh, I've been busy. Uh, do you have a start time for the surgery? Yes. Um, day after tomorrow, 8 a.m. Uh, doctor, why the wait? Why the wait? Uh, we understand that Mr. Dearborn's been critical for some time now. Well, that time has uh, given him a little more strength, and uh, it certainly helped him to prepare for this emotionally. And on the other hand, uh, I've been able to uh, go through all the procedures with the heart team. We've had uh, four fit trials alone. Uh, excuse us, Doctor. Uh, what are fit trials? Rehearsals. And I've also had the opportunity to go over all the uh, latest information from Dr. Croydon's last case. Are there any uh, diagrams? Does that include the post-mortem findings? Or, or... I'm sorry. What? Does that include the post-mortem findings? Correct. Yes. Are there any major differences between the heart you're using and the one that Dr. Croydon used? Well, Croydon has improved it. Uh, the particular one we'll be using uh, has a little better control over the ventricular flow valves, and uh, the cuff and sleeve fabrics tested out exceptionally well against clotting. Bottom line, doctor, bottom line. Is there any more guarantee for Jack Dearborn than there was for Croydon's patient, Peter Gurnier? Uh, there are no guarantees, as you know. But we must go into the OR with the attitude that it does give him a better chance, and uh, certainly a better chance than he stands now. Doctor, can you please tell us what about the quality of life? Should he survive the surgery? Well, I think Jack understands the limitations he'll be under, and he's as hopeful as I am that we will eventually be able to overcome some of them. Doc, doctor, excuse me. Isn't your patient ultimately just a glorified guinea pig? Well, that's a, that's a very interesting choice of words. <laughs> Certainly, there is no uh, getting around the experimental nature of these implant surgeries. Uh, trial and error has preceded this one. And uh, for Mr. Dearborn, it all adds up to a second chance. However, I, um, I don't think Jack thinks of himself as a guinea pig. Uh, I don't either. Yes, uh, Jack. How am I supposed to feel? I know all about the NMR report. It's just one test report. It's nothing definitive. And you know that uh, some of my nerve myelin is shot. Nerve tracts are inflamed, which could mean a number of things. 
including MS. Including encephalitis, anthrax, and tularemia, all of which could have been harboring any animals you've been treating. Please. A two million dollar machine does not lie. It doesn't have all the answers either. What do you want us to do? Sit around here and, and take the first verdict handed down? Come on, it's just a stupid machine. It doesn't. Gonzo, please. The machine is wrong. No, darling. Yes, I don't care what it says. The machine is wrong. It's not. It's wrong. wrong. It has got it to be wrong. Stop this. Please stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God, I love you. Sorry, or, or anyway. Talk to her. What's there to talk about? It's a mess. It's an unknown. I got nothing to offer, Trev. Not true. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Come on, love's not gonna. Her eyes focused. It's not gonna keep her legs moving. Could give her something to lean on. Could it? Ah, Lord, why her? Why anybody? What I can do is just, just be there. John McIntyre to CCU, staff. What's happening? He's having multifocal PVCs. Cardiac index? 1.6 with an ejection factor of less than 20%. Our BP is 85 over 70. Heart rate 100. Several episodes of ventricular tachycardia. Claire, I don't think we can wait until tomorrow. Five milligrams of morphine. Ernie Page, the team, was scrubbing. It's time, old friend. Doc, I had enough. Fixing up good this time. You got it. Just give me some of that old fight, will you? Claire? I'm here, Jack. It's OK. I'm here. Call the implant team now. What? Trapper, we're not going to have O'Malley. He's in emergency surgery. I need O'Malley. What's he doing in emergency surgery? He's on my team. Well, do you want to take a chance and stall? I don't have any choice. I don't know what else I can do. I need O'Malley. Too much of a risk, Trap. You'll need a replacement. I know the moves. I'm ready. Get scrubbed. OK. Ted, how's he doing? Pressure's the best he's had all day, 90 over 70. All right, the pericardium is open. Don't 
touch the heart of my fibrillator. All right, canal lines are open. Let's go on the pump and cool to 25 degrees. Quick connect. About five centimeters. Great. Okay, you got three O proline. Steady, everybody. All right, let's aspirate. All right, air is out. Ready with the driver. on 60 both sides we got a pressure 70 over 50 <laughs> fill volume 80 right 90 left left drive pressure 210 right 100 beautiful combo trace is perfect it's gonna fly <laughs> come off the pump and start protamine let's go home close and get him out of here. Nice going. That was the easy part. Here I am with bells on. Oh, oh, no. <coughs> oh, you're here. Uh, just getting ready. Uh, I'll be ready in a couple of seconds. Um, oh, boy. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry about the mess. Am I uh, too early? No, 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 no. I'm just uh, running a little late. Uh, I just need to put some numbers down where we're going to be. Uh, where the hell are we going to be? Um, did I overdress? No, 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 no. Of course not. Uh, let me just uh, splash some water on the old face and make some changes. Um, you know, you know, I um, I, I don't know whether it was the salt water taffy I had on the pier or it. Uh, it might have been the corn dog or, or something, but I, I know it's something I ate. Do you mind if we put this off? Oh, Mo. I put you off every night this week. I had all these plans. I know, I know, and I feel dreadful, but you know, I'm, I'm booked early on that uh, fishing boat in the morning, and I, I really should get my shut eye. Well, at least I can do is take you home. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll just take a cab. Uh, I'm just sorry that I've uh, spoiled all your plans, though. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Building codes just don't take everything into consideration, so you really do have to become your own architect, especially in the kitchen. When you redesign, keep in mind what's been in reach and out of reach for you today. For instance, the outlets. <laughs> Are they too high? As well as the countertops and the water spigots. Stove burners, are they too far apart? And how about the cutting board? Can you actually put it in your lap? Or even better yet, do you have room for a three-foot butcher block? It'd be great if the outlets were all on the side. 
Right, you could do that. Okay. It's the fridge that always gets me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I have some tricks in that department. How about stoves? Stoves, too. But we'll talk about that tomorrow night. Appliances, 1A. Okay? Hey, <laughs> All right, very good, everybody. Class dismissed. All right. Okay. Dismissed. You're welcome. All right, let's go. All right. Okay, let me eat for a cup of coffee later, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You? Thank you. All right. See you later. person in the world to jeopardize the health of a patient you know that i'm just trying to get these reporters off our back and i can do that if you will just break yourself free for one tiny little tape interview because they're not going to let up john all right stan go ahead set it up but after this i don't want to find any reporters lurking around my door great great jack Newman, the latest artificial heart recipient is reported to be making steady gains Although Chief Surgeon John McIntyre... Hey, Super Doc, come problem. here, look. This issue we made big time. The patient's condition yep. much improved. I caught it this morning. Now that you're a star, how about a real performance? Ready to get out of bed? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, JT. Right. Watch the drive lines. Okay. There we go. Oh. How do you feel? Like I've got two left feet. Hey, I'm up. I don't believe it. Listen, as long as I'm up, why don't somebody put on a waltz?
Are those for your monkey or for me? Well, that depends. Why aren't you returning my calls? I've been um, busy. Ah, well, that explains it. I thought it might be something else. Oh, the prednisone that you gave me. It really works. I can see straight. I can walk straight. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, that may only work temporarily. Come on, Franny, what are you doing? You should be in a hospital. Why? What special treatment does Memorial have for me? A few more drugs, a little bit more rest, some physical therapy, perhaps. I don't need a $400 day bed for Fran. that. And I called the MS Society, and I got all the latest updates. It seems that they're doing something terrific with the T-cells of mice. But the bottom line is they don't have anything for me. And neither do you. Look, Franny, I know you're frustrated and you're angry, and I don't you blame don't you. don't know how I feel. Nobody knows how I feel Well, then me. talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. It's just not the same anymore. I'm not the same anymore. Neither am I. I don't care what's wrong with you. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. Maybe not today. What about tomorrow? What about when my eyes go? What about when my legs go? Are you going to be there to clean up the mess when my bladder goes? It doesn't matter. Fanny, I love you. Oh, will you love me when I'm in the middle of another relapse? Will you love me then? Will you love me when you spent your entire life playing nursemaid to me? Will you love me then? Yes. No, you won't. Now, you've been a good guy. You've played my white knight. If you want to finish the job, just leave me alone. Fanny, don't do this. I'm doing it. It's done. Go. Tomorrow, we play nine holes. My caddy will just have to carry two bags. Oh, I'm your caddy now, huh? I thought I was your chauffeur. Uh, I spin around the park, then I want him up the nuclear medicine for a scan. All right, you got it. Onward, Jack. Okay. Home, James. <laughs> you believe he's got it. You haven't had any of my lasagna. Mm. It's fantastic, Mrs. D. Yeah, I can tell. <sighs> well, how is he really? JT? Well, let's find out here. Uh, the fever broke last Thursday night. That's, what, five days ago? Uh, this morning it spiked up at 101, but it fell back down. Anything else? Uh, the pressure's the best it's been, 128 over 80. Uh, the cardiac index is back to 3.5. Good oral intake and spirits. And no sign of infection or kidney failure. Well, there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth. You know, I have a feeling Jack's going to be able to move into that apartment we set up for him before he even finished decorating it. You really think he's going to be able to? Mm-hmm. And I really think you ought to get out of here. You've been cooped up here so long, you've probably forgotten what the real world looks like. Mm. Mm, good. Thank you. Mm. You know what, Pop? I think it's time you take some of your own advice. Let's get out of here. i got work to do. Oh, it can wait. Look at you. You're as much a prisoner here as he is. You talk about the quality of life, what about the quality of your life? You're frazzled. You're totally fried. Pretty soon you're gonna end up looking like me. Come on. Let's make like bananas and split. Now look, if I do anything, it should be with Mo. Mo is in great hands. Shoop's taking her out. Male mud wrestling. <laughs> Swell. <laughs> Ow! Uh, Dad! Dad! Uh, Dad! Uh, oh! Ah! Uh, Dad! Look, I got a great idea. <laughs> of a lot of nerve thinking you can just come in and drag me off like this. You know, I'm getting really fed up with your pig-headed self-pity. Don't you understand? It's only going to make it harder. Oh, I see. Thank you. Rub my nose in it. Why are you so quick to put yourself into permanent disability? Look out there. Do you see anyone there feeling sorry for themselves? If you say that one more time, I'm going to smack you. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Come on.
impressive. Big enough for you? Yeah, I used to paint landscapes, carve miniatures. Till my eyes started going on me. So I just graduated to bigger pieces. <laughs> Here, could you uh, shut this off for me? Sure. So what's this gonna be? Well, I really don't know. The park wanted me to do something whimsical, eh? Their idea, not mine. After this, can we go? You just found out, didn't you? Don't let it kill your will, my dear. M.S. is a cagey thief. But you can outfox it. Thanks. You set me up. With me? It'd be a really sneaky thing to do. It's not like me. Who shuffled this deck? Complain, complain. You have to get me of what? I wouldn't know how. I don't know how to play cards. I'm a nurse. I'm your nurse. Now, Andy, up. Oh. oh, nice try, Jack. We're not falling for it this time. What? I'm serious. Look at this card. Don't show me your cards. Don't be looking at my cards. <laughs> Two face. Two for the resident. And one for the intern. Ho, ho, ho. I'd like three and be kind. You're supposed to be taking care of me, you know. And three for the patient. Two for the dealer. You still love me, Jack? Mm. Hey, JT. I think he's bluffing. All I know is I'm into him deep. I mean deep, like we're talking next year's salary. Look at this guy, old poker face. Hey, can either of you guys read anything into that? Jack, are you gonna bet or what? Come on, Jack, the suspense is killing me. Jack? Where's Dr. Gates? Beats me, I haven't seen him all day. Fine, objective, one just had a stroke. Yes, Dr. Gates there. I'll take him back to his room. Didn't think he'd find an lesion, trap. <sighs> Tell me what happened. Maybe the blood coursing over the biomer's surface. Look, he's stroked out, but he's coming back. The brain swelling's already down 30%. Look at the man, he's not walking, he's not talking. I mean, barking for his life, but not this. dirty trick that you pulled on me leaving me at the picnic like that it was manipulative it was calculating and it worked it did work didn't it don't don't gloat oh, come on don't gloat gloating is half the no, fun no 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 just go just you know, go back to bed go back I'm go on. it's um it's been a long day oh um by the way have I ever told you that I love you? Never. Then it's about time. I'm oh, sorry, I, I didn't quite catch that. I love you. How's it?
it's about time. What? What? <laughs> Speaking strictly as your doctor, I'd say you are definitely in remission. How do you like your eggs? Over easy. Well, that's too bad. Oh. <laughs> Come on, up and at him. <laughs> Sit up. Whoa, I'm impressed. Yeah? yeah? Don't get used to it. It is not one of my habits. Mm. What are you doing? Why are you getting dressed? You were right. I was crawling into some hole of self-pity. But seeing all those people with MS, it was just the slap in the face that I needed. Good. I'm glad. I'll come back to bed. Nope. I've got too much to do. I figure I'm healthy now, right? But I don't know how long it's going to last. So if I'm going to do something with my life, I've got to get on with it while I still can. What are you talking about? Africa. Africa. You know how much I want to go. I want to go now. I want to go while I'm still standing on my own two well, feet. Well, slow down a minute. No, I can't. That's the point. There isn't really any time. Come on, Franny, you can't... Do you know when my next flare-up is going to be? No, you don't. And neither do I. But right now, right this minute, I know that I'm healthy enough to do Africa on my own. So that's it? Just like that? You, 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 you take off? What about us? No, no, wait. Wait. I still haven't gotten to the good part. Last night, I had this terrific dream. You and me. A four-wheel drive. Africa. Together. And from the looks of your lifestyle, it ought to take you about a half an hour to I pack. I can't. I can't go. Why not? <laughs> Work. Patience. Trap. I, he needs me right now. I... Okay, um... I can understand that. And you're going anyway? Yes. The day after tomorrow. Don't look at me like that. You know how important this trip is to me. And if I am important to you, well, then we'll still be together when I get back, right? Okay, so finish your breakfast. And uh, I'll see you. Up the diuretics. Yes, Doctor. Yeah. It's not working, is it? Nothing's happening. You don't know what you're doing, do you? Claire. Please, don't Claire me. You put this stupid thing in him. You let this happen. And now you don't know what it's doing, do you? We need another doctor. We need that other one. That doctor in Houston. Claire, stop it. Jack. Oh, lay off of him. Now listen. The doc here gave me a second chance with this heart gizmo. And it was my decision. Mine. And I have followed through with it all the way, haven't I? Yes, you have. Hey, Doc. You learn anything from all this? A lot, Jack. A lot. Well, that makes it all worth it. We can all be proud.
thing here. Well, Brandy, you can't go. You know I love you. That's not the issue. I, I have a plane to catch. I'll write, okay? Oh, that's great. You'll write and I'll... Hey, wait a minute, okay, that's my cab. Franny! Frat! Hey! Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait! Follow that cab up to the right. Go, 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 go! Ladies and gentlemen, um, Jack Dearborn will no longer be with us here at Memorial because it is his fervent wish that he vacate the premises for his own apartment. <laughs> and I think he has shown uh, enough significant improvement over the last 48 hours to do exactly that. However, he... He won't be leaving for another week or so, and uh, he'll continue with the artificial heart until a qualified donor can be found for transplant. Meanwhile, he is asked and is grateful that you will leave him and his wife, Claire, in peace and privacy. And having said that, with your permission, I would like to make a personal statement. I think that Jack Dearborn has given all of us here an incredible lesson in personal courage. And most of all, hope. And it is my hope that you, ladies and gentlemen of the press corps, will view this experience in a positive light. I know we here at Memorial do. And I know that Jack does, too. I have nothing more to say. Thank you very much. All right. No more questions. No more. What kind of continual care? Well, we never did get dinner, did we? I haven't starved. I'm sorry, Mo. I thought this time would be different. Don't be sorry. Look, why don't you postpone your trip for one more night, huh? I promise. Uh, dinner, swankiest place in town, just you and me. Uh, we can uh, catch up, get to know each other all over again. Get to know each other? I know more about you than I want to know. I know that you get less than four hours sleep a night, that your favorite color is green, that the couch in your office gets more wear than your bed at home, and that you can go for days living on nothing but coffee and stale sandwiches. Nothing you could ever say over a plate of spaghetti is going to tell me more than that. Mo, well, what can I... You're a good brother and a good doctor. I'm proud of you.
It was a great chase. <laughs> but you should have tried a little harder. What's round the bend So is it any wonder That I roam All the places I have been Keep mm -hmm. a-calling me back again How down mm -hmm. in the pines I hear the cold wind blow My heart keeps telling me Put loose and fancy free And the road goes by and calls me as it goes Well, maybe somewhere there's a someone waiting there with a smile And maybe there'll be some place I can stop and rest a while Cause maybe you weren't meant to be just a rolling stone And there's a road to travel on Lead you back to home Oh, but I'll keep a traveling on Keep a looking at the dawn Till I can lay this lonesome body down And when that day has come I never more will roam And every road I see will lead me home And when that day has come, I never more will roam, and every road I see will lead me home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 